So I met Steve McQueen 13 years ago. He had seen, he and his wife had seen a film I had, um, the first ever um, drama I did, a film called Wonderland, which was directed by Michael Winterbottom, which was my debut into the world of drama. And apparently after having seen it, his wife had turned to Steve and said, you should be working with that director of photography. At the time, he was doing all his art installation work and was a very successful um, internationally renowned artist. And he tracked me down. It, he's, he found my agents. He called, arranged for us to meet. We had tea together in London. He had a project, specific project in mind called Western Deep. Um, we talked. I thought he was barking mad, but in a really wonderful way. I was quite intrigued. I'd never considered working in, in the world of art and wasn't quite sure what my role would even be, um, but was absolutely intrigued. I mean, there was obviously, he he'd, he's unique. And when you meet him, you know, you discover that he is unique. There's no one quite like him. And so when he offered me the possibility to go to South Africa and shoot Western Deep, I leapt at it. And it has simply changed the world, or the way I see the world, uh, and changed me as a cinematographer forever. I do my best work as part of a collaboration, and Steve is a, is a fantastic collaborator. He is a director in the true sense of the word. You know, he gives you direction, he gives you ideas, and then he lets you get on with it. It allows an immense amount of freedom and creative freedom at the same time, an immense amount of creative responsibility. Because we've worked together for 14 years, I mean, I would never presume to know what's going on inside of Steve's head, um, but I have an idea of, of about what it should look like um, based upon all of our years of discussion. So we don't, we don't need to talk as much these days. You know, he knows what I do, I know what he does. We never assume um, anything but we trust each other. And so I'll, I'll go, and I will do the best I possibly can, as I would for any director, um, but in some ways I have slightly more insight, so I can maybe go a little bit further with Steve. But at the same time, you know, once I present a shot, he knows that if he doesn't like it, he has to, he, he'll just say no, and it's no big deal. It's like, okay, great, so let's think of something else then, and, and we move on. So there's never any conflict. There's always discussion, and there's always um, movement and movement forward. And it's, it's really incredibly fulfilling.